Have you ever wondered why a westbound flight takes longer than the same route eastbound? Or maybe you have a faint idea but want more details? Today's video takes a quick look at why this happens. There are many factors influencing flight duration. However, in general, you will notice westbound flights are scheduled to take longer. Compare most flight schedules and you'll see the return leg of an eastbound flight is longer than the outbound. For instance, an eastbound flight from New York to London is scheduled to take 7 hours, while flying London to New York is closer to 8 hours. Meanwhile, a flight from London to Hong Kong is scheduled to take approximately 12 hours, while the return westbound is over an hour longer. Of course, this particular example isn't factoring in any Russian airspace bans. In short, it's the rotation of the Earth that is causing the longer flight times, but not because it's moving towards or away from the flying aircraft. It is instead due to its influence on wind patterns, so-called high-altitude jet streams. Something known as the Coriolis effect pushes winds to the east in the northern hemisphere and to the west in the southern hemisphere. In addition to this, winds are affected by solar heating and will flow from areas of high pressure to low pressure. Combined, these effects produce jet streams that move from west to east but with an undulating pattern. The jet stream can vary in strength, altitude and routing over time and will usually be strongest closer to the poles. These jet streams have a significant effect on aircraft. An aircraft traveling east can effectively pick up the tailwind, thereby speeding up its journey. In contrast, a westbound flight may end up flying against the wind. More than just affecting average flight times, these jet streams have a major impact on flight routings and scheduling. Airlines will look at jet stream patterns each day and alter routes for their flights accordingly. Taking a longer physical distance route might make sense if you can piggyback on a strong tailwind. And likewise, you can reroute westbound flights to avoid some of the effects of the jet streams. In summary, a carrier may choose a longer route if it means avoiding unfavorable conditions. Cornell University summarizes the underlying factors with the following. When any solid body rotates, bits of it that are nearer its axis move slower than those which are further away. As you move north or south from the equator, you are moving closer to the axis of the Earth, and so the air which started at the equator and moved north or south will be moving faster than the ground it is over. It has the rotation speed of the ground at the equator, not the ground which it is now over. This results in winds which always move from the west to the east in the mid-latitudes. So, next time you're told your flight will be longer or shorter due to wind or jet stream effects, you'll know why. For those newer to aviation and travel, did you know about this before? Let us know what you think in the comment section. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.